welcome my jars of pickles. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto under 20 carbs a day. And this is something I haven't done in a long time, so this is fun for me. Today we're going to do a grocery haul. And I drove all over Cape Cod securing most of these items. So I'm going to show them to you today. This is my 24 pack of Poland Springs sparkling water. I drink one or two of them a day. This has six black cherry, six raspberry lime, six lemon, and six mandarin orange. And um, zero carbs and zero calories. So that's a savior for me. I like it. I feel like it aids my digestion or something like that. All right. So I went to, um, gosh, I went to about four or five stores. So here are my heavy whipping creams, um, Stonyfield Organic heavy whipping cream. No carrageenan in it, so I'm happy about that. And then organic heavy whipping cream, same deal, from Trader Joe's. And those go in my coffees. And then right here I've got an, um, an almond breeze. This is almond coconut. I buy all kinds of combos. This is 40 calories in an 8 ounce cup. It is vanilla. It is unsweetened. And as far as um, nutritional information, all we need to know is there's 40 calories and there is one gram in eight ounces and there is zero sugar. And that's all we slash I need to know. And then, no, I'm not pregnant, but I was in a big box store and I saw this sea salt Vlasic kosher dills and this too is a winner in the keto food plan. Zero calories, zero carbs, or less than one gram. So I got this big honking thing. It said sea salt. It doesn't seem to have as much um, dubious chemical stuff in it. So um, it just looks so good. And so I bought it. This is Vitality Magazine, and sometimes when we have Sarah School, it's an article that's come from this magazine, and because it's now February, the new edition was on my way out of grocery stores, so I, I bought it. I mean, I got it. And this is um, Organic Bone-In Pork Chops from Shaw's, also known as Albertson, and so that will be on the dinner rotation this week. I pan fry mine in a, in a cast iron skillet with coconut oil. Does it get better than that? And I have to say, guess who likes my crack slaw? Because I make it different than the one that was cooking with Christy. And so <laughs> I had some the other night and he asked for a little taste and he said, can I have seconds? And it's like, no. So I am making a double batch. I had one of these pounds in my freezer and the other pound I picked up today for the double batch of crack slaw, which will commence as soon as this video is um, produced. And then I got some clarified butter, which is also known as ghee, at um, Trader Joe's. And I thought I would try it. I know other people that have. I hadn't yet, so it was time. And then at the box store, I got organic large eggs. Usually I'm a jumbo gal but I saw these and the price was right. Free range, no synthetic pesticides, no added hormones, no antibiotics, no GMO feed, and um, free range and organic. So that's an 18 pack. I liked that, so I got it. And then this is, I buy the Organic Valley cream cheese and the Organic Valley New Chichel. Even though it has one less, uh, one third less fat, um, it's so when I want to be a little Miss Piggy and I can have two tablespoons of it. As you can see here, it is um, made with milk from pasture-raised cows. And that's what I'm aiming for. So when I have dairy, that's what I look for. This is Trader Joe's Hollandaise sauce. I saw it in a grocery haul over the weekend. And I said, I simply must have that. And so I simply bought it. And even though... Where are those little... So here are the ingredients, and I don't like the ingredients at all. So, um, because it's not organic and it's got 
It's got stuff in it, you know, I don't know. But I like it. I had one tablespoon on my keto lunch, which I posted and did a video of and did the picture of, and Greg is going to love it on his veggies. And so I bought it. What the heck? One tablespoon is 85 calories. So then I got two packages of this organic broccoli slaw at Trader Joe's to um, make my crack slaw out of. <clears throat> I will work on that as soon as I'm done. And um, five carbs, but two grams of fiber. So um, that I love because if you're doing net carbs, that's um, you're only having three net carbs. And uh, so far I am, but I might be switching so I can add more veggies after seeing all the plethora of keto hauls this weekend with tiny little things eating mountains of vegetables. Kalapo, that is, it's like a, um, it's unrefined, which is the only reason I would buy it, but yet it has more of a coconut flavor. It is also organic, cold pressed, and I put one tablespoon in my Bulletproof coffee um, usually on the nights that I work overnight. Um, I just like it. I like that coconut um, taste and smell. This is California um, extra virgin first cold pressed chef size because we go through an awful lot of olive oil here. Um, 47.3 ounces. Got that. So we never want to run out of olive oil. This is um, chai ultra spice and uh, when I have the need, the want, and the desire for tea, this is what I aim for. And I put in it um, a half a tablespoon of butter, a wee bit of cream, and then one of my almond milk or cashew milk combos. And um, it is ultra spice and that's why I like it. And then at Trader Joe's I have some organic kale left. So I will um, mix it with this. This is Cruciferous Crunch Collection. Kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. And um, it is not organic. I bought it anyway because of the combo of everything. Three cups um, is a serving size. 35 calories. And um, I would never probably have three cups of it. I'd probably have a cup and a half under eggs again. And so, with the three cups, seven grams of carbs, three of those are dietary fiber, two grams of protein, loaded with C, A, and 6% six, um, 6 of your calcium and 4% of your iron. It will be interesting when the um, labels change and they put in magnesium because we like to know what we're getting with that. That's 10 ounces, so get that. <clears throat> And then this is just too pretty not to, right? This is organic bell peppers. And if you watched my video that talked about the um, Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen, um, bell peppers are on the Dirty Dozen list. So you need to get your uh, peppers and make them organic. And so that's what I got, even though it said three count. Look what it says, three count. And look what I got. I got four. So very happy about that. That will be going anywhere. Um, you know, I want to add a few more, um, few more variety of veggies to my um, rotation, and then some Sargento uh, for when I have the eggs with something on them, Havarti and provolone, and Greg likes them too. That's why I got them. And then this is an unsweetened vanilla almond milk, 30 calories in a cup. less than a gram of carbs, two and a half grams of fat, 30 calories in a cup, and it is loaded with calcium and D, 4% uh, magnesium, 4% riboflavin, 20% vitamin E, and 10% even vitamin A. And um, I just like to switch up my milks, and, um, and I do. And then what's Trader Joe's without a bunch of flowers? love my flowers. And then I got um, two Muir Glen tomato paste, organic and non-GMO. Just to have, just because. 
And then I got two different salsas. This is fire roasted red pepper, a smoky blend of roasted red peppers and hot chilies. And I have um, either pork, an idea of a roast pork with this dumped in it, or um, boneless chicken thighs cooked in it, like in the slow cooker. And so nutrition facts, uh, two tablespoons or 25 calories, two grams of fat, and two carbohydrates. Um, and one of them is uh, fiber, dietary fiber. So why not? It ends up, if you subtract your net carbs, uh, one carb for 25 calories. And then this one is fire roasted yellow pepper. And this is a savory blend of roasted yellow peppers and garlic. Same deal, either a roast pork or boneless thighs or maybe even some with bone in um, put on top. But I like my skin crispy, so I don't know. Two tablespoons is 25 calories, two grams of fat, we love that, two carbohydrate grams, and one of them is fiber. This has zero sugars, and the other one that I showed, the fire roasted red pepper, has one gram of sugars in it. And uh, this is 80% C, 2% A. So I thought I would try that. And then this one's kind of fun. Um, this is organic shredded green and red cabbage with orange carrots and as you can see the carrots are at a minimal and I don't even see any green cabbage in it but it said that so um, two cups is 30 calories so uh, I like that maybe with a tablespoon of olive oil um, six carbs and two grams of dietary fiber three grams of sugar but it's not added sugar it's um, occurring in the vegetables and as you can see it's power packed with A and C 4% calcium and 2% iron as well one gram of protein so um, if you're doing net carbs it has four net carbs in two cups of this and this says servings per container is three but for 30 calories and um, a few carbs especially if I'm subtracting and then this is Organic Valley Cultured Pastured Butter. Lightly salted, pasture-raised, 84% um, butter fat, prized for baking, artesian, crafted, churned, May to September, and it's organic. And, um, yep, that's why I got it. And I've been putting this in my Bulletproof Coffee, even though it's lightly salted. Velaments. When I did my gum um, video, which I have not shown yet, so you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a review of all the gums that I have. As you can see, I have some, <laughs> I've got gum, you know me, overstock. But this one has less than one carb, so guess, guess which one I'm having? Less than one carb velament, and they sell it at Trader Joe's. So I bought four packs the last time I was there. And then I got this Healthy 8 not organic, chopped veggie mix, um, three quarters of a cup, they consider a serving size, uh, amount is 30 calories, and um, six carbs in the three quarters of a cup, two uh, grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, which are naturally occurring. The veggies in this are um, broccoli, carrots, green cabbage, red cabbage, jicama, green bell pepper and radish and celery and so um, I will have this with a tablespoon of olive oil and that will be a side salad for all that wonderful fiber and then as I showed in another video I got um, two rather strong dark coffees from coffee people and uh, one is jet fuel and the other one is Tiger, Black Tiger, Tigre Noir. And I got 24 of each of them. And then I might treat myself. I usually have Dark Magic Decaf because it's so strong by um, Green Mountain. But I might add to that, I think it's organic. It's Gorilla Organic Decaf Coffee. Sounds delicious. I might get a box of that from Amazon as well. So... There you go, a grocery haul from all the stores on Cape Cod. 
And now I have to put all my goods away and make crack slaw for dinner. So thanks for so watching and stopping by. If you haven't become a subscriber to my channel, please do. And thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. Bye-bye for now.